What's good, everybody? It's Jay with Skywalker Capital. Um, I'm kind of getting into this video right here for y'all. I'm bringing y'all a video that's um about a mis common mistake that people make when they parlay, right? Everybody likes parlays. Um, I focus on parlays and um, kind of like my specialty is what I'm consistent in, what I'm profitable, with, profitable in, and I have a consistent approach that I take with it each time, right? But um. Let me show y'all one of the things that people tend to run into. Okay. Um, over concentration when they parlay, all right. Failure to diversify. Right. So how does this happen? Okay, the susceptible victims to over concentration is those who parlay, right? So if you've been watching my channel, you can kind of see some of the picks definitely during the NBA finals. That's when sports betting launched legally in Louisiana. And that's when I kind of got my was able to kind of get my ball rolling, right? Um, there's a science to everything. I want to say this before I go into over concentration. Um, parlays don't turn bad bets into good bets, right? You have to have a risk to reward ratio and make sure that your reward covers your risk, right? Uh, if you say you strike out on so many bets, right? Uh, you also need to look at implied probability when you're doing parlays. Okay, here's the thing with over concentration: you don't want to fall in love with a line. You want to remain objective. If the line is that good, then straight better. And, and even I don't recommend this, I, I recommend flat betting. I believe I have a video on flat betting up um, in managing a bankroll. And if I don't mention flat betting and managing a bankroll, I'll make sure I get one up for y'all. But you want to remain objective at all times. Okay. Um, and like I say, if you're in love with it, even I don't re re recommend you not flat bet then straight bet it and go up on it on, on a separate bet, right? But don't tie it into multiple parlays, okay? I'll give you an example. All right, you see Patrick Mahomes over one touchdown for 200. Look, that's a steal, okay? One of the best quarterbacks in the league. It's plus money. Like, you'd be like, one touchdown, it's a steal, okay? Here's a mistake that would happen when you over-concentrate. You decide that you love the line so much and that you think it's a lot, right? that what you end up doing is you put it into two separate parlays, okay? That's what you don't want to do, all right? Um, And what happens is, what's the problem with that? When that leg fails, it kills all your parlays. You're you, you dead in the water at that point, all right? You have no way to, to recoup your money, okay? Um, you want to find lines with the best value and place one bet on that line. So let's say you have two, you have, I'll give you an example of two parlays. Um, Kansas City um, to win, covering the spread, right? Minus three against the short lines. Patrick Mahomes, then you fall in love with that Patrick Mahomes line. And you say, you take Patrick Mahomes over one touchdown plus 200. You can be like, oh man, like, I, I'm, I'm going to have that parlay. Now I'm going to bet this again, another parlay because this line is so good. You take Patrick Mahomes over one touchdown, um, plus two hundred. Then you take Clyde Hillard Edwards over fifty rushing yards, um, you know, minus one thirty five, and um, Travis Kelsey plus three catches, minus one fifty. And let's say Patrick Mahomes goes down with a with an injury, a knee injury, an uh, ankle sprain. Now, now you dead in the water. Now you've killed two parlays. And if you flat bet, say you flat bet twenty five on each, that's fifty dollars you're out of. Compared to if you put twenty five dollars on that two, first two leg parlay, you say cool, and then you say all right, I'm not gonna over concentrate. I like these lines too, right? And and, and you shut you you're crafting your parlays around a certain amount of odds consistently each time, right? So like I said, your reward can cover your risk. Now what happens is you say okay, I'm gonna do a two leg over here as well. And I'll do the Travis Kelsey and the Clyde Hiller Edwards probably. You follow what I'm saying? You you want to have rules and systems in place so you can be consistent and be profitable. Okay. Um, to kind of get a, a better, more concrete idea of what I'm trying to say, make sure that you go watch the video on on parlays. Or go go look at some of my pick parlays and see how I went same legs, approximately the same odds each time. And how if I hit one, I could miss out on two or three and still be up, right? Definitely if I hedged in my hedge and my uh, regular parlay hit, okay? Um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you can see some of our sports betting tips, our sports betting picks, uh, and our sports betting parlays. I'd love to have y'all come join the sports betting community. It's growing. I'm trying to keep get it to keep growing as sports betting grows nationally. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or leave a comment below. Y'all take it easy. Peace out.